all right welcome back so in this week's video or this video more like uh, we're gonna use the symmetric encryption if you want to follow along you can uh, follow these instructions right here and up to here number nine Let's get started. Let's start our Linux machine. <clears throat> All right, so first thing first, we're going to start with terminal. That is a must every time. And in terminal, we are going to execute the following command that is echo this one basically what this does what this does is that it types in this message <coughs> into this file so we are basically creating a quick file here with that message in use so it's echo welcome to you certify test.txt so just to show you ls you see that there is the test.txt here but if i press the make it imron.txt it will show up as well right here <coughs> it's just creating a quick text file with the if i show you cat imron.txt you will see that's the message that we typed in this one right here and this one right here all right so the next one it says is oh it did uh, went with cat test.txt we already know what's in there so next we're gonna do is gpg so we are basically encrypting it with our symmetric key Okay, the password is UC at one two three four five six. I hope I typed it right. No, UC at one two three four five six. There you go. So if I can show you, uh, it says GPG basically encrypts your. Oh man, come on. Okay let's see it rearrange here so right here <clears throat> gpg is basically i think it's a program that encrypts and signs your data and communication c is the one that's using it as a cipher only like a symmetric cipher only and along with it, it's going to ask the password that it did and we entered this password right here of course in your linux if you're following along it's going to be different and you will have to go and see if there is gpg in there in kali linux or not or uh, how to configure it like create a key and then sign it all right so make it bigger now it's asking for to execute the if I go LS here it's gonna show me uh, that there is a new file that is right there test.txe.gpg basically that is the encrypted file so if i go txt.gpg and i try to see the content of the file of course it's garbage it's garbled because uh, encryption has taken place and if i sh can show you just the txt file you can see it has that message welcome to you certify so you see the difference So now we're gonna decrypt it. <clears throat> to decrypt, we're gonna again GPG. That's the software O with a output like dot txt test dot txt dot 
so basically in this command the first gpg is the program o uh, dash o is the parameter that's telling it's going to be an output so output file name is going to be output.txt and the input file that it's going to get data or decrypt the file that is test.txt.gpg press enter that's what you mean encrypted data encrypted with one pass phrase if i go ls there should be an output.txt we do have it right here in the second line we're gonna try to cat output.txt output and we have the exact same message so you can see that's how the encryption works Rem <clears throat> remember we use the same uh, in symmetric you use the same key to both encrypt and decrypt so that's what we did hopefully this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one